Best Buy also echoed a theme repeated by many other retailers recently. More and more customers are buying online. So how do old line companies get more foot traffic into their brick and mortar stores? Courtney Reagan tells us about some ideas which seem to be working. Traffic. For most of us, it's a hassle. For retailers, it's the holy grail. Just getting shoppers in the store has become a feat. While many retailers say a sale on their website is just as good, a sale in their stores is technically more valuable because the high overhead cost of operating a store fleet. Still, retailers are learning online and mobile presence must be as strong as the experience in store. The web used to be feared by retail, but now it's not only embraced, it's depended on. According to Comscore, nearly three in four mobile shopping searches resulted in consumers making a purchase in store. So when it comes to driving traffic, retailers are looking to the web and mobile to get consumers to shop in store. The good news for retailers and why we continue to see sales improve year over year is that what's coming into the store is actually a high value proposition. Somebody who's already researched the information has a good idea what they want to buy and then they're coming to the stores to execute the purchase. Best Buy CEO Hubert Jolie tells me shoppers are browsing online first so their trips to the store are more targeted which means store traffic is going down but converting trips to sales is going up. Target has seen huge growth rates for Cartwheel, its app that offers discounts and coupons for consumers on mobile devices or through Facebook, but requires in-store purchasing. Nordstrom's acquisition of online flash sale site Holt's Look is driving traffic to its stores. The department store says shoppers are returning online purchased Holt's Look items to Nordstrom rack stores, noting Holt's Look is, quote, a tremendous traffic driver for our rack stores. J.C. Penney says its website sales growth comes in part from dot-com orders originating in the stores. With 30 percent of Penny's online business pick up in store, the possibility of shoppers grabbing a couple more items while there increases. While e-commerce browsing is driving consumers to stores, promotions remain tops when it comes to driving traffic. Macy's CFO Karen Hogay recently acknowledged the department store sees less traffic when offering fewer promotions. And it's a retailer analyst mark as best in class when it comes to its website and in-store offerings. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Courtney Reagan.